We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today on to week 15 in the NFL, and we've got a good matchup in store as it'll be the Pioneers of Vancouver taking on the Miami Dolphins. are over it's now a four-week sprint to the finish and we are underway here in week 15 and here comes a return from the middle of the end zone and no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line Right to the air is Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wood. Now the ball comes loose. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. It's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Second and nine. Now Rodgers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You talk about this Miami defense. This crew against the pass issues at times. Right number 24 tries in the NFL. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 44-yard line. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first and ten, it's Hall. On the tackle there, Zach Sealer out of Ferris State. This defense for the Dolphins, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. And while you can't actually see confidence rising in the unit, you feel like you can. And when you look at this team, you definitely think that it is because anytime you can tell your offense, just get us a couple of touchdowns. We got this thing locked down. That's when you know you're playing well. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. He finds Wilson. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Right side going to be caught by Hardman. Touchdown! Nicole Hardman, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Pioneers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Sirline connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 13-yard line. All 
to end the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 13. Here's A-Chain to begin the drive. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Now is second and 10. White. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get that. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Here's Tua. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Down the sideline he goes. Inside the 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Zerline now for the PAT. And it's good. And they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines to run for the very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, yeah, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Out of the gun is a give to A-Chain. Shedding the tackle. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Right back to A-Chain on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. You look at this defense. There are 32 teams in the NFL, and they're just better than 50% of them at defending the pass number 16 in the league. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice answer about how much he likes his team and what they're doing. But at the end of it, he would admit there's definitely room to improve. That's good for a Miami Dolphins. H.A. on first and ten. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. the 34-yard line here, second and nine. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And a short gain down to about the 33. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They need to get this to the twenty-four on third down. All right, fellas, listen up. Looking to pass to a little short pass here to Hill and they will stop him short they get him to the ground at the 27 no first down and that's good for a gain of six and it'll be fourth down he wasn't the primary target but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation wasn't it yeah like hoping he can break some tackles a big tight end but he couldn't do it yeah get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done they go with the option on fourth down left side Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Little read option, the end result, the first down, so a good read. And the way teams are running it nowadays, they've added variety to it. You know, the original way was you read the defensive end. If he crashes down, you pull it and you go. Now they may not even block that person, may end up reading the linebacker, may read the cornerback. Just depends on how they want to block it up. In any case, this worked well for them. The ball comes out, and that will get out of bounds. Lucky there. They keep possession inside the five. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. Mostert is into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Open man downfield is Hardman. He's got it. 
A big play there. 42 yards. A gain of 42 yards on the play. And the Vancouver first down. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Rodgers now to throw. He's got a man. It's his fullback. Shoves him away. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. They've moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game. But in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Taking in left side, it's Wilson. Touchdown! Garrett Wilson, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Pioneers go up by two touchdowns. Zerline good with a PAT. And it's now 21-7. to seven. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And Barton, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The Dolphins had eight and five to start play. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind and the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. Right I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and eight. 21G. Hey, 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 hey. hey. They'll stay on the ground with Moster. They're able to push his way through. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 60 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Wilson with a first down carry. There's a nice move, and he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's a toss play right to Moster. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Quinnen Williams, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. But defensively, they're doing everything they can to protect this early lead after giving up a touchdown on their last drive. Thank you. 
Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here's Tonga Bailoa to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketing the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Sanders kick is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal right here. And what a luxury it is to have the kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. When you're a capable runner, oftentimes your quarterback coach, your offensive coordinator, they love to see you break the pocket and go ahead and take off. I think he could have gotten vertical and picked up something there. Instead, he pushed it downfield incomplete. Here's second and ten. Now Rodgers. It's brought in by Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And the Vancouver first down. From midfield, here's Rodgers. That's caught left side by Hardman. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and three at the 43-yard line. Yeah, 300! Yeah, 300! Throwing is Rodgers. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 15 seconds. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. They'll run with Hall. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. The 12 yards that time and picking up the first. First down, Pioneers. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will do it for this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25.
First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As it might, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out and continue to throw the ball effectively. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage to be found. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Two are going to throw. That'll be caught by Eric Ezekama. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 27 yards there, a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They'll run with Wilson out of the shotgun. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Quinn and Williams so hard to block, and he shows it that time, making the tackle for loss. Behind the chain, second and 13. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. And they'll get this on the screen to Moster. Touchdown, Dolphins! Raheem Mostert with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Dolphins are back within a score. Sanders on for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 24-17. Kick it away after the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. It's complete. Man, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. 
There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass, a run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Rodgers directing traffic, going to change the play. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. Powering forward. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 52 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Every team in the league always wants explosive plays, breakout plays. And even more so when it's your horse who's had a tough time during the game. Yeah, not that great in the first half. Maybe he can recalibrate here in the third and then carry that over to the four. I like that. Recalibrate. Strong. Javon Holland coming up to make the stop. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs. Taking their time and making it work. On play action. Now Rodgers. And quick throw here. That's complete. Touchdown! Garrett Wilson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Zerline connects on the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, Paul. They're a little bouncing their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Here's a second and nine now from the 29. Tua sets up to pass it. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Credit the secondary. Credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big-time receiver. 21G, 21G. Water, low, low. Let's go. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Escaping the pressure. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jabril Cox gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards. And it's also fourth down now. And yeah, the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Oh, what a move. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Only a yard on the game there as time will run out on this third quarter of play. No, no, no. 
They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. But normally you might say, start running the football, you've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Straight ahead is Hall. Able to avoid him at the 40. To the 36-yard line, stop there. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. First down, Pioneers. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And again, it's Rodgers. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Jalen Phillips able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. Zerline's kick is up and free, and that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. Well, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. At their own 22-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Yeah, so now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work right, to be go. done. Now Tua. A hit as he throws there incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. This will be third and forever. Back to throw here. He's got his target. That's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Here's Tungabailoa on first and 10. 
Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ashton Davis. Able to slither by. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Paul want to give up the middle. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. You don't see that a ton, do you? With the quarterback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Now it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Here's Barrios, 31 yards on the punt there. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and 10. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. He's got a man complete. It's a big play there for Miami. 44 yards. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Tua now on first down. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Cedric Wilson from 17 yards out. And the Dolphins have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Sanders now to add the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did, indeed. I think we're down to none. Jalen Phillips, the edge man on the tackle. Good gain there on first down. That keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay back. And not in any rush offensively. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a